Under the GDPR, what rights do individuals have regarding automated decision-making? A. Right to data portability B. Right to be informed C. Right to obtain human intervention, express their point of view, and contest decisions D. Right to erasure. Right to be forgotten. Correct answer. C. Right to obtain human intervention, express their point of view, and contest decisions. Who is primarily responsible for ensuring AI systems comply with data protection and privacy laws? Data subjects B. Data processors C. Data controllers D. Third-party service providers. Correct answer. C. Data controllers. Which principle is not explicitly addressed by the GDPR in the context of AIA? Transparency B. Accountability C. Innovation D. Data minimization. Correct answer. C. Innovation. What does intellectual property law struggle with in the context of AI-generated content? Determining the commercial value of AI-generated content B. Establishing a user base for AI-generated content C. Defining authorship and originality for AI-generated content D. Ensuring the quality of AI-generated content. Correct answer. C. Defining authorship and originality for AI-generated content. In which scenario would liability laws likely apply to AI systems? A. An AI system providing incorrect weather predictions. B. An AI-powered vehicle involved in an accident due to a malfunction. An AI system playing music at a regulated volume. An AI chatbot unable to answer a query. Correct answer. B. An AI-powered vehicle involved in an accident due to a malfunction. How do employment laws intersect with the use of AI in hiring processes? A. By ensuring AI systems are used for all hiring decisions B. By mandating the disclosure of AI use in decision-making processes C. By prohibiting the use of AI in employment D. By requiring AI systems to have a physical presence during interviews. Correct answer. B. By mandating the disclosure of AI use in decision-making processes. Which of the following is not considered a direct application of AI under sector-specific regulations? A. AI in autonomous vehicles B. AI for predictive maintenance in manufacturing. AI used for personal data collection without consent D. AI in medical device diagnostics. Correct. Answer. C. AI used for personal data collection without consent. What is a primary challenge in applying cybersecurity laws to AI systems? A. Predicting weather changes using AI B. Protecting AI systems from cyber attacks. Ensuring AI systems are energy efficient D. Guaranteeing AI systems are affordable. Correct. Answer. B. Protecting AI systems from cyber attacks. Which international body has issued guidance on the regulation of AI in medical devices? A. World Health Organization, WHO B. International Medical Device Regulators, Forum, MDRFC. International Data Corporation, IDCD, United Nations, UN. Correct answer. B. International Medical Device Regulators Forum, IMDRF. How do current laws typically regard AI-generated inventions in terms of patentability? A. AI-generated inventions are universally accepted for patenting B. Laws clearly define AI as capable of being a patent inventor C. Jurisdictions vary with many debating whether AI can hold IP rights D. AI-generated inventions are ineligible for copyright protection. Correct answer. C. Jurisdictions vary, with many debating whether AI can hold IP rights. What mechanism does the GDPR provide to address the processing of personal data by AI systems for automated decision-making? A. Mandatory AI Ethics Board Review B. Data Portability Rights C. Consent from data subjects specifically for AI processing D. Rights to access, rectify, and delete data. Correct answer C. Consent from data subjects specifically for AI processing, which scenario exemplifies a limited risk under the EU AI Act framework. A. AI systems used for social scoring by governments. B. AI applications in robot-assisted surgery. C. Chatbots disclosing they are not human. D. AI used in credit scoring systems. Correct answer C. Chatbots disclosing they are not human. What is the concept of adequate risk assessment and mitigation systems? Apply to in the context of high-risk AI systems under the EU AI Act A. Ensuring all AI systems are equally accessible B. Preventing any AI system from being deployed C. Mitigating risks associated with specific high-risk applications. Assessing risks associated with AI systems in non-critical sectors. Correct answer C. 
mitigating risks associated with specific high-risk applications. Under which condition can AI systems for remote biometric identification be used in publicly accessible spaces according to the EU AI Act? A. For any purpose, as long as consent is obtained, be unconditionally prohibited. C. In strictly defined and regulated exceptions, such as to prevent a specific and imminent terrorist threat. D. For entertainment and marketing purposes. Correct answer. C. In strictly defined and regulated exceptions, such as to prevent a specific and imminent terrorist threat. What is a significant concern regarding AI and intellectual property rights that needs addressing by current laws? How to reduce the cost of AI development B. Establishing a global standard for AI ethics C. Determining the entity responsible for AI-generated works. Ensuring AI systems are only used for educational purposes. Correct answer C. Determining the entity responsible for AI-generated works.